I, w I want you to hear what George Stephanopoulos said Sunday morning. Yet another apology. Here is the anchor of ABC Sunday Morning Show. Those donations were a matter of public record, but I should have made additional disclosures on air when we covered the foundation. And I now believe that directing personal donations to that foundation was a mistake. So interesting. It takes him a couple of weeks here to get to the idea that maybe I should never have given the money in the first place. Guy, your reaction? Yeah, well, he's finally correct. Right? He shouldn't have made these donations. And after he did, he absolutely should have disclosed it to ABC and to viewers, especially when he was the lead news anchor covering this story with the Clinton Foundation, the group to which he donated, at the center of it, and grilling Peter Schweitzer about this organization, the Clinton's potential sort of quid pro quo slush fund of money. So yes, he's finally saying the correct things, but actions speak louder than words. And this comes back to the question of whether or not George Stephanopoulos has the capacity to credibly cover a Hillary Clinton campaign. It's oh, a great question. It's a great question. Mm -hmm. I want to read a comment from Peter Schweitzer. He is the author of Clinton Cash. He was grilled, really, by Stephanopoulos on that Sunday morning show. Here's, here's what he says in reaction to Stephanopoulos. What is certain is that Stephanopoulos' ethical ma malpractice and hidden hand journalism have done further injury to an essential if beleaguered institution, one already battling to preserve legitimacy. That's news no one can celebrate. So he calls it hidden hand journalism, Rich. What do you make of this? I, I have to say, I don't know if you saw the interview with Peter Schweitzer, but boy, it was tough. And had you known at the time that there was a lot of money exchanging hands, you might have had a different reaction to it. Well, yeah, I think the reason uh, Stephanopoulos didn't disclose this probably is just would have been so highly embarrassing in that interview with Schweitzer to lead it off with the fact, oh, oh by, by the way, way I gave them $75,000, <laughs> and then to proceed to rake them over the coals. And yeah. Stephanopoulos in that interview, he was one of the first to create the standard that if Peter Schweitzer didn't prove a crime and it didn't have a you know, prosecutor's case he could go to court with the next day, that there was no story there. And obviously that's a ridiculous standard. Standard. Fred, you want to weigh in? Yeah, it is a ridiculous standard. Uh, uh, Rich is exactly right. The, uh, look, the problem in the first place was when George Stephanopoulos was hired, he was hired uh, right out of the White House. Uh, he was a very good, democratic, very partisan politician. He didn't come to he ABC Bill's, from the Columbia School of Journalism. He ran Bill's campaign. He was yeah, a top yeah. analyst. Yeah. Uh, he was deeply involved. And didn't you have questions yep. back then about whether this was going to work or not? Uh, there, uh, did this to themselves, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what did they expect? Uh, a partisan politician, and they put him in as an anchor? And, and look, George is very smart. There's no question about that. He, he, he's just not a journalist. Not a journalist. Well, that's pretty succinct. Fred, Guy, and Rich, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Great interview. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry.